Hey, what do you hear? What do you say? My Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, your sister's ass, the Pony Express. I hope you're all hanging in there. Are you washing your hands? Taking showers, washing your clothes, cleaning your counters, vacuuming your floor, trying to stay in your yard or in your house as much as possible. Yeah, I actually strapped on a pair of balls and went to the liquor store yesterday. I mean, just taking out the garbage, I get excited now. It's like I forgot how to go outside. So listen to this. I pull up. I get out of the car. Then I was like, oh, my God, what, what do I do? What, what can I touch? Can I breathe? I get to the front door and almost opened it with my hand. But then I remembered to use a paper towel I had in my pocket. So that was good. I, you know, I, I avoided a catastrophe right from the start. So, it gets better. Listen to this. So I get inside. Everybody looks at everybody like we're in the night of the living dead. I'm, I'm like, are, are you a zombie? No. Are you a zombie? Is everyone in here a human? So I grabbed a, a couple of bottles of booze and I went to the counter and I said, look, I don't know, what am I allowed to touch? You know, I, like I was trying to be funny. You know, make small talk. But the lady behind the counter said, no, 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 don't worry. I wipe the counters down every two to three minutes, and I'm like, okay, that's good. I, I just hope I got here during the right minute. So I pay with the credit card. I get my shit, and then I'm like, how do I open my car door? And then I remembered, oh, my God, wait a minute. This is my car, so the door handle doesn't have the coronavirus. So I get in the car. I drive home. I don't touch my face. I run in, and I washed my hands. Now, listen to me. Fuck singing happy birthday for 20 seconds. I sang the live version of Freebird twice and rubbed my fucking fingerprints off. Anyway, so I have a lot of time on my hands, and today I decided it was serious manscaping day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, my body here has no idea what happened. It was like... The guy in high school with the, with the giant nose who made you afraid for the lines of blow on the mirror. First, I started off on the big job, the chest and the back. That's like mowing the lawn. You know, you, you take out the big shaver and you take out and you, you take your time. You, you don't want to scratch anything and you, you got to be very careful around the teats, uh, the areola, you, you know, the nips and tips. That's the dangerous part of shaving the front. The nips and tips are like baby parts. They're so soft and, and sensitive. So then I move to the back, and that's where it gets a little wacky because you can't see anything, and you have mirrors and extenders, and you, you look into one mirror to reflect into the other mirror, and, and everything's backwards, and you, you move your hand there, and it goes in the opposite direction because the mirror, because of the mirror's back. It's like driving in England. You do the best you can. I pretty much got it all. So now I decide I'm going to get a little creative. So I get to work on the shrubbery around the Harry and his two little boys. Now I decided I'm going to go for it. Now Lucy's not going to do it. I had never gone full commando before. So I used all the tools I have. And I was, I was very careful, very precise, very careful. And I went and did it. You know, the prunes are, are hairless and smooth. And the whole package is clean as a whistle. I even went pretty close to the O-ring to see if it could really get hairless. But look, let's, let's be serious. I mean, unless I, I get a, a Brazilian ass wax, that mess is going to have some hair in it. So it's like, it's like moss in a cave. You can't get it all out. So anyway, I'm all excited and proud, and I go find Lucy, and I, and I show what I just did. I'm like, I'm like ta-da, look at that. She takes one look and says, I want to be with the grown man, not a little boy. And she walks away. So I couldn't waste a moment. So I, I went upstairs and I pretended to, to take a crap. But I really knocked out a goo load. You know, I thought it was 14 again. Anyway, I figured as long as I had all this time, then I went to work on my ears and then my nose. And then I had to trim the shit in between my ears eyes, this, this shit, in between my, the eyebrows, so they, they don't form one brow and make you look like a fucking Muppet or Boris Karloff, and then I thought, hey, maybe I'll make my underarms look a little nicer, a little bit, a little bit, but I remembered how, when I was in my 20s, I shaved my underarms completely once, and it was the most uncomfortable feeling ever, so 
I figured I would just, you know, trim them so they didn't look like ZZ Top was living under each arm. You know, make them look uh, a lot shorter. Make them even in length. Not so fucking wild and matted with chunks of deodorant like Larry of the Three Stooges was slicking down his head with dippity doo. So that was that was kind of easy. That was easy. And snips the pear, snip the pen, a couple of tra la la. So here I am, all manscaped up, feeling three pounds lighter and looking three years younger. I think I'm I'm gonna pour me a nice glass of whatever I got from the liquor store and enjoy my handiwork. That is until about three days from now when I have to do it all over again. Except for the nuts. I'll let Lucy have grown man prunes back. Until then, everyone, be safe. Try to have fun. I'll see you tomorrow.